Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to check your CPU temperature on Linux. We're gonna be covering two tools. The first tool is a command line application, so let's get started with that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to install the LM sensors package. Now, I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna go over it here, but the installation instructions are in the article that I wrote, and you can check that out. Once you do that, you need to do sudo sensors detect. Enter your password. Now you're going to see a bunch of information and it's going to read everything out and the first thing it'll say is since uh, you know since it needs to detect all your sensors it's going to say CPU CPUs or memory controllers contain embedded sensors do you want to scan for them and basically you want to say yes and the reason you want to say yes is because the yes is in bold here so yes and you don't really need to read all these the only thing you really need to understand is that you need to say yes to the bold yeses and no to the bold noes so i'm going to go through and detect all of my sensors and i will be right back all right so all of my sensors are detected now i can use this command to check my cpu temperature and i can do that with the sensors command so just sensors now it's going to show me that my cpu now the CPU itself is right about here, and this is the die. So T die E or T die or whatever, that's the th socket. That's what's holding your, your CPU in place. And uh, it doesn't show you an, a live updating graph. Like if I run it again, it's gonna be up, it's gonna bounce around. My CPU generally bounces around from 45 to 57. So a normal air cool setup, I, I switched mine out. So it runs a little bit, uh, weird it's still breaking in the new CPU cooler but uh, generally a, a safe uh, as you see I'm entering it over and over you see that you can kind of get a real-time estimate but if we roll back here you can see it skips up and down and that's just you also have to understand that since this is a command app it's only roughly estimating what it can see so this might not even be my real-time temperature if I boot into my my BIOS it could be lower or it could be higher but it gives you a good estimate. And now another tool that we can use is called P-Sensor. Now P-Sensor piggybacks off of LM Sensor and it uses the same technology. So it uses the same command line tools. But what you need to know is that you should go through the LM Sensor's setup before you install P-Sensor. And then instructions for installing P-Sensor are again in the article in the description. But to go ahead and launch P-Sensor on your computer. It'll show up in the tray here. You can click on it and we uncheck these boxes here and we can go through we see cpu usage free memory hard drive uh, temperature here the important things are the cpu graph and cpu uh, die graph so you can check these boxes here and you can roughly track how hot or uh, cold your cpu and die are so the maximum for here is 66 which is so it's pushing it, it bounces around, and we can see a rough estimate. And actually, if you're worried, you can go into preferences and uh, you can just have it permanently log your stuff. You can also enable other things here like uh, hard disk stuff, but we'll get into that in another video. There's also sensor preferences where you can change the names of different things. So if you don't really understand what TCL, CTL means, you could do CPU temp. And uh, for T die, you could do like CPU socket. There's also an alarm. So 70 degrees Celsius is pretty dangerous. So you can always just have desktop alerts. Oh no, your your die and your CPU have reached a high threshold. And let's say a high threshold for me would be like 70. You can have it do that, and then you can just watch your your graphs and. As you see here, CPU temperature alert, 62 degrees Celsius. So now I know and I can let it run in my background and I will have a long running uh, trend line of how my CPU looks. And uh, we also talked about this in the graphics card video. So that's how you check your CPU temperatures on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.